Hey, you're stuck in an airport with Wolf Gorilla, a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. So, um, I love steganography, right? The ability to hide messages and other messages or embed codes within the images. And one of the first things you do in steganography is the classic attack of take a bitmap and shove some data in it, right? Or whatever it may be. So I was, of course, pretty excited to see this recent malware that we were uh, playing around with and, and looking at which was utilizing an ad network in steganography. And the key thing here about it was there was a two-stage attack that distributed out the attack information such that it got right by all of the IPS and IDS in an ad network. So, tip to you, keep in mind as your IPS and IDS gets better, as your detection gets better, as your techniques for identifying Malco gets better, the bad guy split it up. <laughs> it's not as easy to find and not as easy to stop. Uh, that's the short of it. The long of it is this. The, uh, the network is called Stegano, is what the researchers have coined it. It's short for steganography. It has a two-stage attack. Stage one is distributing an image by ad networks. Call up, say, hey, I want to run an ad. Here's my image. This image has malicious code, right, the code that you would use to exploit a flaw, written into it, hidden within the butts of the bitmap. So. That image goes out. Part two, whenever you're running an ad, you want to know, hey, did anyone see my ad? Did you see my ad? Did you look at my ad? I'm not cheap, but I'm always looking at my stats. How many people went to my page? How many people did this? Right? It's the way it is. We want to know who looked at it and where. So part two is ad networks will allow you to call back and execute codes for counts. One of the very popular ways of doing this is a system called Countly. So very heavily modified Countly, the counter is executed when this ad is displayed. That counter then runs some JavaScript and client side extracts the malicious code from that bitmap, reassembles it, and executes it. Part three, once it's running, it only ran on Internet Explorer. It only ran on computers that weren't patched, obviously. And it exploited a very old version of Internet Explorer to install mal code and then do all this normal stuff that ransomware does. Or botnets or all the bad stuff. So the cool thing is breaking up your mal code into separate streams, in this case, an image and a counter, and only reassembling them at the client side, and only reassembling them in a way that passes most of the detective controls, and thereby getting past the ad networks, getting past all the sensors, getting past everything that would stop you. So then, just in time, just in time delivery of the mal code onto your box. Kind of neat, kind of clever. Don't know how you'd stop it. Something to think about. Um, what do you think? Hit me up in comments. Hit me up on social media. Take it easy.